So this morning, um, God had me sitting on my porch and I'm looking at the tree in the front yard. And at the very, I just noticed at the very top of the tree, right? The, the, the leaf that's furthest from the tree is still alive. Like the one that's closest to the, to the, to the trunk, to the root of the tree. So I'm like, you know, all the, the water, right? The nutrients, everything that the leaf needs to survive you know, goes from the root and travels up the trunk, through the branch, into the leaf. Um, and I'm just looking at it, and I'm just like, wow, even the furthest, the furthest leaf gets what it needs, gets what it needs. And then, like, later, I come in, and I'm looking at a, a much bigger tree from my window, a huge tree. God, I just want to thank you that I get to look at nature because when I was living in Philly I got to look at buildings it was terrible just need to thank God for thank God for the small things y'all um and like a much bigger tree and I'm like even that I'm looking at it right now even that tree even that tree has ha like that the, the leaf at the at the very top gets everything it needs and so when I'm looking at that tree I hear God say <laughs> Um, but, oh my God, there's a beautiful yellow bird. Okay, I'm not going to, yo, can I flip this screen on TikTok? Oh, if I stop it. There's a yellow bird. That's for somebody. That's a confirmation for somebody. <laughs> it's this cute little yellow bird. Okay, that's for, that's for somebody. Um, so, <laughs> at the top of this big tree, Right, the leaf, the, the the leaf at the very very top gets exactly what it needs, and it's a huge tree, and so God tells me, first He says the, I heard the learning tree and I heard the giving tree. I don't remember which one I heard first, but I've been looking a lot at Gordon Parks because I am a photographer, and um, I take I take pictures, um, and um, he made a movie called The Learning Tree. I haven't seen it or anything. And then he said the giving tree, and he just spoke to me in that moment because the because the tree is connected, the roots are connected in that ground. No matter what, no matter how far the leaf is, the leaf is still connected to a branch that's connected to the trunk that's connected to the roots. Everything is connected. Everything is connected. And therefore, that leaf is still alive. That leaf is getting everything it needs. It's blooming like all the other leaves close to the trunk, on the bottom, everywhere else on the tree. <laughs> and so when he said, like, the giving tree and the learning tree to me, like, that's what I heard. That was an audible voice in my head. God will speak to you audibly. He can, if that's how you hear him. That's a word for somebody. He can speak to you through anything, though. He speaks to me through anything. I have the gift of hearing him through anything. Um, but I, I heard that audibly in my head. And... Um, He just says, like, Monica, if you're rooted in me, like, if you, if I'm rooted in God, then everything connected to me is going to be alive and thriving. Everything connected to me will be alive. If you're rooted in God, if you are rooted in God, the learning tree, right? So, you, like, you teach people. I mean, you learn, and you, as a result, you teach people, and everybody else learns. They get exactly what they need. They, they're thriving. The, give, it, the giving goes the same way. Like it can, it doesn't just have to be money, but knowledge, right? Learning, it could be anything. But with money, I mean, think about it. If you're rooted in, in Him, remember, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all other things will be added into you. He's not God. Not gonna be, have you out here, like without. He's He will always provide your needs. When you get to that point where you have everything you need then you can give it all out. And the, and even the per person furthest from you physically is still going to get what they need because they're rooted. They're, they're connected to you. So your healing, your wellness is so important because when you work on yourself and you become the person God is calling you to be, you're going to help heal and help heal everybody connected to you. And I hope this doesn't go over people's heads, especially with the distractions. Like, 
the same way every single leaf. The leaf is still connected to the tree. I mean, we're talking about huge trees, but it gets everything from it. Everything starts at the root. It doesn't matter how how far they are. If they're connected to you, this is why it's so important to do the right thing and become the person God needs you to become. It's so important because so many people, ooh, I feel that. I'm getting chills. So many people are connected to you, to your success. And remember, success is, don't, don't think of success as like the, to the world terms, like, like according to the world, to the, like the standards of the world. Success looks like you being obedient to God, like you stand rooted in him because it will come to pass. His promises will come to pass. He is not a man that he shall lie. Whatever he told you, you are going to get. Actually, you should really not be too focused on those physical, those, those physical things anyway, like things like the material possessions anyway, things like money, car, house, and, and the more you actually get rooted in him, the less you will become, become focused on those things, but you're also going to get them all. I still see the bird, but you're also going to get them all. So don't worry about it, but understand you being rooted in God and you being healed and you being, you know, rooted in love, peace, you, you becoming exactly who God is calling you to be, you becoming love, connected to nature, understanding yourself, being grateful, you, you, listen, you becoming that person is so important, so much more important than you think, because all the people connected to you, all of them, think about one, ooh, God has been te- talking to me about this. And he talked to me about this through some events that I'm not even going to, that I'm not even going to name, but he just made it so clear to me. I mean, think about, he brought up MLK to me. Like, think about MLK and everybody um, that was blessed through him. Like, even after death. But... Yo, listen, you need to become. It's so important. And it's so, like, don't stress about it. Just understand that it's really important. Um, And it gets easier. Like, this journey started off brutal. But it has gotten a lot easier. So, listen, I just need you to encourage you. I hope you get the message. Encourage you that so many people, all those leaves are depending on that trunk staying rooted in the ground. All those leaves are depending on those those roots. But as long as those roots are good, they're good. They ain't got nothing to worry about. So it's not to it's not to stress you. As a matter of fact, it like like it really gets easier to the point where you get to the you get to just live in. But it's hard at first because of what we've learned through the world. What we've been taught through the world. That's why it's so hard. Like, we have to, like, leave that space. Once you leave that space, once you become distant from that space of, like, um, doing the worldly things and and just wanting to, want, for me, it was just wanting to be out there partying, not taking life seriously, you know? Like, like taking life half seriously. For me, that's what it was. Like, you know, because I was, I thought I was doing right, but I wasn't really because I wasn't taking it seriously enough. Um, like I got the degree and I was a teacher, right? But then once I got there, I wasn't doing what I, how I was supposed to do it. Like, no, you need to be a hundred percent you because even a little bit of contamination, my God, he's speaking to me right now. Even a little bit of contamination will muddy the waters. So I hope I'm not, you know, scaring you or sounds, or, you know, hope it doesn't sound too harsh. Just keep going because, like, it's going to happen. That's what you need to know. Like, like, the leaves are fine. Like, the furthest leaf from the, from the root is fine. It's fine. And, and the trunk is just chilling there. It's just, it's just obeying God. It's growing. It's sucking up the water. Like, once you renew your mind, it's actually real easy. You just start chilling. The same way he feeds the birds. <laughs> they, don't, they don't sow nor reap. They get what they need.